Hello everyone, this is Dr. Ashish Vanumai and this is a video 2 of image transforms. So let's continue with the next problem. The question over here is to compute the 2D DFT and I DFT of a 4 cross 4 grayscale image given below. So over here directly what we want to do is for the image take the 2D DFT and then take the inverse DFT of that and we should get the same image back. So let's start. So in this case the image is 4 cross 4 that means the transformation matrix that we are going to use for DFT will be with n is equal to 4. So here the transformation matrix A is nothing but the twiddle factor matrix of size 4 cross 4 that is W4. So that will be 1 upon root 4, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1 minus J minus 1 J, 1 minus 1, 1 minus 1, 1 J minus 1 minus J. And if you observe this matrix is symmetric so it will be same as A transpose. In this problem, we will also require the A conjugate or a conjugate transpose. So, let's find it and keep it ready. So, over here A conjugate, which will be also same as A conjugate transpose, is equal to 1 upon root 4, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1 j minus 1 minus j, 1 minus 1, 1 minus 1, 1 minus j minus 1 j. So, let's find the transform image. So, as we all know, the transform image B is a u a transpose so what we need to do is substitute the values of a u and a transpose and then multiply the matrices so if you multiply this one upon root 4 with one upon root 4 we'll get 1 by 4 over here and the multiplication matrix multiplication of this matrix with this matrix results in these values and then this matrix we can multiply with this matrix which results in these values. If we take this 1 by 4 inside, this is what the final transform image will be. That result is 18 minus 2 plus 2j minus 2 minus 2 minus 2j 0 0 0 0 minus 8 0 0 0 0 and last row is also 0 0 0 0. So this is my transform image B. Now what we want to do is take the inverse DFT of this and we should get to the original image back. So the inverse DFT that is I DFT will be U is equal to A conjugate transpose B A conjugate. So again substitute the values and perform the matrix multiplication. So if you multiply these two matrices we get this result. If you multiply these two matrices we will get this result. If we take this 1 by 4 inside, this is what the inverse DFT result what we will get. And you can verify that it is same as the input image that we have applied. Now coming to the next problem. Here the question is to find the 2D DCT of the image. Uh, first we need to give the expression of the 2D DCT and then we need to find the 2D DCT of this 4 cross 4 image. So over here, the equation of the 2D DCT is something like this. F of uv is equal to alpha u alpha v summation over x running from 0 to n minus 1, summation over y running from 0 to n minus 1, fxy cos of pi 2x plus 1 u upon 2n into cos pi 2y plus 1 v upon 2n for u and v both running over 0 to n minus 1 and here alpha u alpha 0 is root of 1 by n and alpha k is square root of 2 by n for k running over 1 to n minus 1. If we simplify uh, we will get the DCT kernel c for n is equal to 4 which is given over here and the transformation matrix actually is A which is C transpose okay not C so this point has to be kept in mind the transformation matrix A is actually C transpose so my transformation matrix actually will be 0 0.5 0 0.5 0 0.5 0 0.5 0 0.653 0 0.6 0 0.7 0 0.8 0 0.9 0 0.10 0 0.11 0 0.12 0 0.13 0 0.14 0 0.15 0 0.16 0 0.17 0 0.18 0 0.
0.27 minus 0.27 minus 0 0.653 0 0.5 minus 0 0.5 minus 0 0.5 0 0.5 0 0.27 minus 0 0.653 plus 0 0.653 minus 0 0.27 so if we use the standard formula of our transformation that is b is equal to a u a transpose the same thing we can write also as c transpose u c and if we substitute the value of c transpose u and c we will have this equation and we can first multiply these two matrices and then whatever result we can multiply with these matrices so this is the final result that we will get and that is what the 2d dct of the image Now let's consider another problem. Now this problem is on Haar transform. So question is, give a 4 cross 4 Haar kernel. Using this kernel, find 2D Haar transform and they have given an image like this. So image is 1, 1, 2, 2, 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, 3, 3, 4, 4. So over here the image size is 4 cross 4. So the Haar kernel of size 4 or n is equal to 4 is A, that is hr4 that is equal to 1 upon root 4 1 1 1 1 1 1 minus 1 minus 1 root 2 minus root 2 0 0 0 0 root 2 minus root 2. so if you take the transpose of this we will get the a transpose as 1 upon root 4 1 1 root 2 0 1 1 minus root 2 0 1 minus 1 0 root 2 1 minus 1 0 minus root 2. and then the transformed image v is a u a transpose so substitute the value of a the image and the a transpose and then multiply the matrices okay so if you multiply these two and then whatever the result if you multiply with this okay and then if you divide by 4 this is what the final result you will get. So the final result or the hard transform image will be 10 minus 2 0 0 minus 4 0 0 0 and then last two rows will be all 0.